How's it going everyone? So today I'm going to talk about how to get abs in three minutes for a 12 year old. So I keep getting a lot of questions from 12 year olds. They want me to do an ab workout strictly for them. Now ab workouts don't have to necessarily be just based on age. You guys, anyone can do this ab workout, but 12 year olds, I will give you guys an ab workout. You want to do this again. Anyone can do this. It will work because we all have the same abs, you guys. So before we begin, please subscribe to my channel. If you guys haven't already, I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're interested in online personal training, or if you want to check out some cool fitness products from Amazon, they are in my description box. They're very cheap. Go have a look at them now. So the exercises that I will be showing you guys are going to be absolutely phenomenal for your abs and chances are you haven't seen too many of these. You guys all know the basic ab exercises, the crunches, um, the modified crunches, everything to do with the crunch. I'm going to show you some exercises that actually train your rectus abdominis, your transverse abdominis, your internal and your external obliques, hitting all four muscles of the abs. Most people don't know about the abs. They just know about the six pack, which is again called the rectus abdominis. So let's get started. The first movement is going to be the cable rotation. Now cable rotations are absolutely phenomenal because they work your obliques crazy and most people they don't have developed obliques at all you guys they simply just have the abs so you want to get a resistance band and if you guys do not have resistance bands I have them in my description box you can get them on Amazon very cheap um, so what you want to do with your resistance bands is hold it look straight ahead and all you're going to do is twist and again, if you don't have a resistance band, you can't get one, you can't afford to buy it, then just don't do this exercise. This exercise isn't going to make or break the workout. It's just one part to it. You can switch it up with a different exercise. So grab it and start twisting, you guys. Now, if you guys have never done this before, the amount of feeling in your obliques is crazy. And all you're doing is you're twisting, you're using the torque from your hips, you're not using your arms. And all you're doing is you're twisting with your obliques. Feel your obliques working, get that mind-muscle connection, and keep twisting. This is what's going to really get your obliques developed. Same thing with this exercise. Same with the other side. Look straight ahead, grab it, and simply twist. You can see... When you're performing this exercise, you want to make sure <clears throat> that this foot rotates. So if you're looking straight ahead and you're moving, it should be going like this. And you're using this, you're using your hips, you're using the torque, and you're pulling with your obliques, you guys. You're twisting. That's what you want to get. You don't want to be doing this, using your arms. You want to use your obliques. So that exercise, Phenomenal if you guys are trying to develop crazy abdominals, you guys, to really allow yourself to get everything from it. Just super crazy in my opinion, and you can actually see the abs being formed. Like, it's, it, it's, it's amazing. The next exercise we will be doing is going to be the cross crunch. Again, a lot of people probably have never heard or seen this exercise before. It's, it's phenomenal in my opinion. All you're going to do is lay on the ground, and now what you want to do, whatever leg you lift, you want to ro lift the opposite arm. So what you're going to do is this. This will hit your upper abs harder than just doing a basic crunch. It's much, much harder, you guys, and that's really gonna allow you guys to get the upper part of your abdominal muscles. So a lot of people, what they'll do is that, some people might target the lower abs, they might target the upper abs. This exercise targets the upper. We just targeted our lower obliques, you guys. Um, it, it's phenomenal. It's like, if you guys do this exercise, you will get results. The next exercise we will be doing is going to be the reverse push up. So again, uh, an exercise you probably may not have seen before. It's very easy to perform. You just get into a push-up position. Now what you're gonna wanna do is go down like you would a normal push-up, but instead of going back up, drive your face along the ground 
and feel that crunch. This is called a reverse push-up. It works your abs crazy. The idea is to make sure your face stays close to the ground as possible until you make that crunch. Ugh. 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 It's it's amazing. I love that exercise. That's a that's a favorite of mine. It's a reverse push-up. You also get a crazy chest, shoulder, and tricep pump as well. So very good in my opinion. Next exercise we're going to be doing is the ab wheel rollout. Again, I have these in my description box. You guys can buy them from Amazon. If you do not have access to the ab wheel rollout, 100% fine. If you don't have access to the resistance band, that is okay too. When we are done this exercise, I'm going to give you another exercise if you guys at home do not have options to buy these ever. So I will give you guys another option because I want to allow you guys to do uh, more of the workout but I highly recommend you guys give this a shot so when you're performing your ab wheel rollouts a lot of people make this mistake they hyper extend their back and they put they put anterior pelvic tilt you guys they tilt their pelvis and their backs like this you don't want to do this you guys you don't even want to have a neutral one you kind of want to have a little bit a little bit bent but you want to stay contracted in the abs so I, as you can see, I'm retracting my shoulder blades. So I retracted them. All the pressure now is on my abs. And you can see my, my back is still neutral. It's not actually raised. It's still neutral, but I'm sucking it in, retracted. Now, the main mistake people make when doing the ab wheel rollout is they go too far. Go until you feel that stretch. Then <sighs> come back. You don't have to go super far with this exercise to make it effective. <sighs> Again, it's a phenomenal exercise. Make sure to tighten your core, shoulder blades back, really feel it working. And again, if you notice your back is starting to cave in, you're going too far. If you watch my second last rep, or I'll show you guys again. If you go too far like this, right there, you see my lower back cave in, do not do that. You're going too far, you will hurt your back. So again, flex your abs, contract, go out slowly. Hold your abs, hold your abs, now come back. The minute you feel yourself losing your abs tightened, that means you're going too far, come back. Right there, come back. <clears throat> Again, most people when they do this exercise, they'll go like this. They'll hyperextend their back, all the efforts on their back. That's how you get hurt. That is not what you want to do. Okay, the final exercise for the people at home that do not have access to any of the equipment. Um, it's very simple to do. Flutter kicks, extremely good exercise. One of the best exercises that I have used personally to get my lower abs really diced. I'm still working on it, but they're really coming in. Flutter kicks are a staple. The key when doing the flutter kicks though is make sure your heels never touch the ground ever. Another tip is your back may try to hyperextend. It may try to flex. The reason for that is because your abs are giving out. So a quick tip is to grab your hands, put them underneath your butt, look up and flex then now <clears throat> your back will not hyperextend. And you can go longer and longer and longer doing the flutter kicks. So end the video, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Go check out my description box for those products. And yeah, share the video, follow me on Instagram, Dillenberg999. Thanks.